Hello and welcome to DEX, a free design weekly exercise from the Graphic Design School. My name is Monique and today's exercise will be learning how to use a mock-up for social media. In this case we'll be mocking an Instagram grid. Once we've finished doing this I'll show you an easy way to put that into an iPhone mock-up for the final image. You can find mock-ups all over the internet, both free and paid, but sometimes it is fun to be able to create your own mock-up. So for the final part of this video, I'll show you how to create your own. I think it's just a really handy skill to learn to be able to put your design into a multitude of situations. And you can really pick an image that suits your final project instead of being limited to the ones that you do find on the internet. So you might have a picture of Times Square, it might not even be social media, it could be an advertisement poster, you'll be able to learn how to clip and put it into there. So I think these mocks are great just to be able to present your work in a professional and realistic manner. So whether it's to a client or whether you want to present it this way in your portfolio, I think that they look really beautiful. So you'll find some um, free linked mock-ups that I've downloaded and found for you below so you can follow along. Um, so let's get started. The first element we're going to do is work on our Instagram grid. So let's pull that straight into Photoshop. And here you can see the mock-up is broken down into layers. So top, profile info, options menu, notifications, menu, image grid, and you can obviously edit the background if you needed. So let's go into the little folder that says top and into iOS info, which is right at the top. So I'm gonna edit the company, just double click the T, Telstra, you might even put 3G, make it more realistic. And I don't wanna edit anything else really up the top. Next is the username, so double click. Today I'm going to name mine Monique. You can obviously edit the settings icon, contacts, but I don't think I really need to touch anything else in that top bar. So I'm going to move on to profile info. And this designer in this mock up has made this little section orange so that you can really easily find it. They've made it a smart object. So that just makes it really, really easy to edit this part of the design without touching any of the rest of this layout. So you can see a little, you can hover over it. It should say smart object thumbnail. Double click. And here we want to put our logo. So I've just created, so go file, place embedded. I created a little mock-up for this exercise. It's just a little M. Then you can kind of drag it out, but remember to hold shift so that none of your proportions strain. Then you want to hit the, the top little tick. And then if you're on a Mac, command S will save. X out and save will also do the same. So you can obviously get rid of little elements here, but I'm going to leave those the same. Here I'm just going to edit posts. I might say 480. Edit the followers, let's stream and pretend I've got 10,000 followers. And I might even change followings because I'm pretty sure that it's following on Instagram. The next part we're going to edit is the bio. So double click again on the T, put whatever you like in here. I think that looks cool an email maybe just making it up and then the last bit you want to edit is the website whatever it may be so let's get rid of that just to have a little bit more space in the layers tab I'm pretty happy with that top part so now let's work on our image grid I'm actually going to get rid of the little notifications just so you can see better. So go down to image grid and it will have all your images here. So image, image one, it's got it in order. 
So all of these are smart objects as well. So you just simply double click on this little thumbnail, file, embed, place embed. So I've got images that I've already saved all together here. So they're kind of, you need to think of images that obviously tell a story. So make sure you, you play around with the placement of these. So I'm going to start with this white one here. So just stretch it until it's exactly where you want. And then hit the tick. Command S again. And there we have it. It's in an, inside our mock. So go ahead and just post the rest of the designs. I'm going to use the pink one in the middle. Tick. Save. Again, file, place embedded. I might even go with this one here. Command S. Number three. Pull that up again. Let's go here. Hit save. Start. You can kind of play with the colors. Where are we up to? Four. Let's go this one in the middle. I like to get her hand in a little bit more. Image five. So let's do this one. So these are images just from Unsplash. So I'll actually put the little link to Unsplash so you can find your own images. Command S. So you can see it's starting to take shape now. Put that to image six. File, place embedded. Go this one. Command S again to save. And you can obviously put anything you kind of want in here, whether you had designs or images, photographs. Command S. Just kind of make sure that they are saved as JPEGs or PNGs. So image eight, it's the last one, I think it's this one, yep, it's the airplane window. Stretch that again, hot. remember to hold in shift guys, guys and girls. Tick, command S. And there we have our final mocked Instagram grid. I don't think there's any other elements that I really want to edit, so let's go ahead and save that. So file... Save as. Unique Instagram grid. Let's just save that loose in in my folder. Oops. And let's save it as a JPEG because we're going to put it into a mock now. So I downloaded this really, really easy mock to use. Pull that into Photoshop. And in this mock, you can see that it says replace image here. So click that down and it's a smart object as well. I think this mock really works well with what we've just created because she's got pink nails, a little pink jumper. So you double click down here. Update. 
this says to delete it. So I'm just going to unhide. And I actually like to make the background, oops, click the background. I actually like to make it white because the background of the Instagram is white. So now you want to place your design, place embedded. Let's place our Instagram grid. Hit the tick and hit Command S to save. And there you will see our mocked Instagram grid in a mock-up. So this is super, super easy to use. So let's go ahead and save that now. File, save as, Monique, iPhone, mock, whatever you like to save it as. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG to put straight into my presentation. You might wanna save it as a PNG, whatever you desire. So hit save. Now for the final part of the video, I thought it might, I'm not going to save this part. So for the final part of the video, I thought it might be really fun to create our own mock-up. So I found this image of this iPhone that I really think would work really well with our design. So let's pull that into Photoshop. You can just drag it straight in there. And then we've just got the image. So what we want to do is just unlock this layer. We want to create a rectangle. I'm actually going to make the foreground color a really bright color so we can see what we're working with. So I'm going to choose blue. And then you want to go down here to your rectangle. Just make the rectangle. Get rid of the properties here. I'm just going to stretch that over. You can obviously play around with the placement. It's not going to be exactly right, but that's okay because I'm going to teach you how to work with the angle of the image. So first things first, oops, let's get out of this. You want to right click and make that image. Oh, sorry. You want to tick up here. Then you want to make the image a smart object. So again, this is going to just enable us to edit this part and this layer of the design without touching the rest. So convert to smart object. I'm going to pull the opacity down to 50 so we can see. So this is pretty, yeah, you can see it's quite wonky here. So let's go up to, can I actually just even pull it in a little bit? So here you want to go to click the tick, edit, transform, and you want to hit perspective. So because the image is on an angle, we want the lines to kind of fit the angle of the image. So this is a little bit fidgety, so you want to kind of pull certain parts down. this down a little which pulls this end up so you can kind of be here for a little while just playing with the dimensions of this shape just to get it right I think it's pretty good it's all on the edges move that over with my arrows. I think that's pretty good. So you can up the opacity back to 100 and just see if you're happy with the placement. So zoom back out. I want to move mine over a tad. So I think that's that's good. You can obviously sit there all afternoon if you wish and kind of play with that. So because we've already turned it into a smart object, double click. It will bring up this blue rectangle. Select the rectangle. I'm actually going to make the background white again because the Instagram, oops, just click OK. Because the Instagram background is white. We want to take our Instagram grid that we designed and hit place. So again, holding down shift, drag it. It actually fits, so we didn't need to do that with the background. Perfect. Hit tick again, 
Command S. And there we have our own designed mock, if you wish. So be creative, have fun, find an image that you really think will challenge yourself and try and put your design in there. If you're a beginner, maybe try out the, the iPhone mock. It's quicker and easier, but, you know, we all like a challenge. So we would love to see how you interpret the lesson and um, use it to implement your own design. So please, please, please upload your finished artworks at the end. Also, if you haven't, I'm just going to pull up Chrome. If you haven't subscribed to our decks, pull up our homepage and go to decks free. It will pull up our decks page and you've got so many tutorials here. So lots of type tutorials, a liquify tutorial, making a retro style poster. It's a really cool layering effect. So have a little look through there. Click up here, decks is free and weekly and you can read more and read what decks kind of is about and and why we've got this this open they're really really fun tutorials and if you want them in your inbox each week subscribe and just enter your email address in there also you know if you want to tag us on instagram with your designs or upload them to our facebook page we would love to showcase some of your work so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we just we can't wait to see your designs so Hit the links below um, and practice and yeah, hope you enjoyed.